At the end of the war, it had been nearly impossible for young Rashka Morgenstern to prove that she was actually Jewish. A problem because by the time she had arrived at the gates of the displaced persons camp in the American zone, it had been designated only for Jews. So what was she to do? She was an adolescent girl on her own. She had no tattoo on her arm from a concentration camp. No documents stamped with a purple J. Her papers, in fact, said she was an Aryan. But then a young American officer with a fuzzy mustache and a pistol holstered at his hip asked her a question. Azoi, junge Dame, obir zentaka edish, kent ihr reden mit mir in Yiddish? Tears flooded to her eyes. She cried with unadulterated joy as she answered him. Ja, jo, ich ken reden mit dir, ich ken reden mit dir. Yiddish had saved her. It was her heritage, not the holy tongue, but the mother tongue. The language of Ima's parents, Chaim and Freidke Landau, living in the sunny, clement city of Tarnuf under the Habsburg dynasty. They were religious people, Chaim and Freitke, observant Jews, pillars of the synagogue, but also deep thinkers. And though she never knew them while they lived, this is the way they were always described by both mother and uncle to little Rashka Morgenstern growing up in Berlin. They sind in tief thinkers, dein sie de Bobbe. Intellectual people, teachers. Her grandfather taught languages, German, French, also Hebrew, in a local school. And her grandmother taught piano from the parlor of a comfortably appointed house on Lvovska Street.